It is well known that applying block coordinate descent to non-smooth or constrained convex problems is not a good idea, because it usually gets stuck in bad local minima. A notable exception is convergent message passing method used to solve dual LP relaxation of map inference in graphical models. They do not guarantee global optimality, but in practice they often converge to good local optima. Our goal is to understand why this is the case and extend message passing methods to general convex problems. So let's minimize a linear function f on a closed convex set x. We'll use a coordinate free formulation of block coordinate descent. We are given a finite set i of subspaces representing allowed search directions. Having a feasible point xn, the update of the method finds a new point xn plus 1 by choosing a, mini choosing a minimizer of f on the restriction of the set x to one such subspace translated to xn. Our key idea is to modify the update such that the next point is chosen from the relative interior of the set of block minimizers. We call this the relative interior rule. Why is this a good idea? Suppose we minimize a linear function on this polygon. The function is constant vertically and decreases to the right. We use coordinate descent, which alternates between the horizontal and vertical directions. Starting from some initial point x0, the first iteration just minimizes f on this line segment. The minimum is attained at a single point. The second iteration minimizes f on this vertical line segment. Since f is constant on this line, the objective cannot be improved in this iteration. In the plane coordinate descent, we could choose any point on the line segment. If we chose x1, the next iteration couldn't just do anything. But the relative interior rule forces us to choose an interior point of the line segment. This allows the next iteration to improve the objective. If we continue like this, we reach a global minimum in this case. Points like x1 or x5 have the property that f cannot be improved by moving from them along any single subspace. We call such points local minima. Points like f5 have a stronger property. We call them interior local minima. All local minima form a subset of faces of the set X shown in red. The set of interior local minima consists of relative interiors of a smaller subset of faces of X. We call all points, including boundary ones, of this subset of faces pre-interior local minima. The top corner of the polygon is a bad interior local minimum, when at this point we cannot move at all. The relative interior rule is not worse than any other rule to choose block minimizers. Precisely, if we are in a pre-interior local minimum, then any number of future updates, whether or not satisfying the relative interior rule, cannot improve the objective. On the other hand, if we are not in a pre-interior local minimum, then the sequence of any update satisfying the relative interior rule will sooner or later improve the objective. We now turn to convergence of the method. For that, we assume the block minimizers are chosen in a deterministic way such that xn plus 1 is computed from xn by a function that is fixed for each subspace. This function has to be continuous. We further assume that the subspaces are visited in a cyclic order. We show that if the function values converge and the sequence of arguments is bounded, then the distance of the arguments to the set of pre-interior local minima converges to zero. How does our theory relate to message passing method for map inference? We'll mention three well-known such methods. Maxsum diffusion satisfies the relative interior rule. Interior local minima correspond to R consistency, which is well known in constraint programming. Double decomposition optimized by max marginal averaging also satisfies the relative interior rule. Its special case is the TRWS algorithm where pre-interior local minima correspond to weak tree agreement. MPLP not always chooses points in relative interiors. However, it still converges to the set of pre-interior local minima. Finally, we apply the method to some convex problems unrelated to map inference. For instance, for dual LP relaxation of weighted vertex cover, we observe the method always converge to global optima. Unfortunately, this is not practically much useful because the LP relaxation in this case can be reduced to max flow.